Are you struggling with lag and low FPS while playing CS2? In this video, I'll walk you through some simple but powerful tweaks to help you get the best performance possible. After applying these settings, you'll notice a much smoother and more responsive gameplay experience. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Let's dive right in. What's directed with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need a gear a boost. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarive to use it to stay ahead. So why not you download gear booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match optimizing your launch options can greatly enhance your game's startup performance and responsiveness start by opening the cs2 launch options to configure the game for optimal startup in steam go to your game library and find counter-strike 2 right click on it select properties and navigate to the general tab here you'll see a section where you can enter launch options copy the complete code from the video description and paste it into the provided field a portion of the code requires you to enter your CPU cores plus one. To find your system's core count, open Task Manager and go to the Performance tab. Click on CPU yet, and you'll see the total number of cores listed. For example, if your system has eight cores, you should input nine in the launch options. Next, adjust the installed files to further boost performance. Go back to Steam, open Game Properties and select Browse to access the game's installation folder. Inside, locate the bin directory, then open Win64. Find the game's executable file, right-click on it, and choose Properties. Under the Compatibility tab, check the box for Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then click on Change High DPI Settings and enable the corresponding option. Apply the changes and confirm by clicking OK. Now right-click on the Steam icon in the system tray and select Settings. First, navigate to the Friends and Chat section. Here, disable animated avatars and other visual effects to reduce CPU and GPU load. Next, go to the Interface tab and turn off features such as smooth scrolling, GPU accelerated rendering, and hardware video decoding. Disabling these options minimizes background processing, making Steam more responsive. Now, switch to the Library tab. Ensure that the first three options, Low Bandwidth Mode, Low Performance Mode, and Disable Community Content, are enabled. These settings help free up system resources by limiting background activity within the Steam library. Once you've made these adjustments, restart Steam to apply the changes. While these tweaks may seem minor, they collectively enhance Steam's responsiveness, ensuring a smoother gaming experience. Alright guys, the next step is to download the CS2 FPS Boost Pack. You'll find the download link on my website, so be sure to check the description for details. Once you've downloaded the pack, extract it to your desktop and open the folder. Now, navigate to the Registry Optimization folder and install all the included files on your PC. These registry files are specifically designed to optimize your system for gaming by prioritizing resources and improving overall performance. After that, install the Quick Boost application included in the pack. This tool will instantly enhance your CPU's performance with just a few clicks, ensuring smoother gameplay and better system responsiveness. Once installed, your PC will be better equipped to handle demanding tasks, allowing for a more stable and optimized gaming experience. Start by opening the General tab in the Quick Boost settings. First, enable Exclusive Full Screen Mode, which ensures your game runs with the highest priority for better performance. Then, turn on the Xbox Game Bar, as some features tied to it can improve system responsiveness. Next, activate Install Time Resolution Services to enhance system precision which is crucial for reducing input lag. Disable startup telemetry to not only boost performance, but also improve privacy by reducing unnecessary background data collection. Also, make sure to turn off mouse acceleration, a critical adjustment that significantly improves aiming accuracy in competitive shooters like Fortnite and other fast-paced FPS games. Then, disable power saving mode to ensure your system runs at its full potential by utilizing the maximum performance settings within Windows. Apply the System Profile Fix, which helps enhance stability and efficiency across various system processes. Additionally, enable Autocomplete for quicker navigation in dialog boxes and system menus. After that, disable unnecessary system services to reduce background resource usage, helping free up CPU and RAM for better game performance. Another important step is managing your startup programs. Open Task Manager, navigate to the Startup tab, and disable any non-essential applications that automatically launch when your PC starts up. For example, I personally disabled an outdated tool on my system to free up resources. 
Once you're done, simply close Task Manager to apply the changes. Next, remove unnecessary pre-installed applications, commonly known as Windows bloatware. However, be cautious. Only uninstall apps you don't need and avoid removing essential ones like the Windows Store or Calculator unless absolutely necessary. Once you've cleaned up your system, switch to the Advanced tab and Quick Boost. Here, disable power throttling to prevent Windows from limiting your CPU's performance during resource-intensive tasks. You'll also see options like memory tweaks and BCD tweaks in this section, but these should only be adjusted if you have advanced knowledge as incorrect settings can affect system stability. To further optimize your system, it's crucial to clean up unnecessary temporary files and junk data. Click on Clean Temporary Files and a new window will open to begin the process. During this cleanup, your screen might flicker black or white for a moment. This is completely normal. Simply wait for the process to complete, then click OK when prompted. This step can take a few minutes, depending on how much data needs to be removed. Finally, navigate to the Download tab in Quick Boost. Here you'll find recommended settings, NVIDIA GPU optimization options, and other essential tools to maximize performance. Download utilities like the MSI utility to further optimize your hardware and configure your NVIDIA GPU settings by applying the recommended adjustments in the NVIDIA control panel. These settings ensure that your graphics card operates at peak efficiency. Once all the optimizations are in place, click Apply Changes to finalize the configurations. Now we will optimize essential Windows settings to get maximum performance of our PC for gaming. To begin, right-click the Start menu and Open Settings. Navigate to System, then select Power and Sleep, and click on Additional Power Settings to access Advanced Power Options. For maximum system performance, creating a custom power plan is recommended. In the left-hand menu, click Choose what the power buttons do, then select Change Settings that are currently unavailable. Next, uncheck Turn on Fast Startup. This ensures that your PC fully shuts down instead of entering a hybrid sleep mode, which helps reset system uptime and improve performance. Once this change is applied, Restart your PC for the settings to take effect. After rebooting, return to the power plan settings and switch to the high performance plan for optimal results. You can choose ultimate power plan if you have this option. Then click change plan settings, then go to change advanced power settings. In the newly opened window, locate PCI Express, expand the options and set it to off to prevent unnecessary power throttling. Then under processor power management, Adjust both the minimum and maximum processor state settings to 100% to ensure your CPU runs at full speed at all times. Apply and save these changes to fully optimize your system for gaming and other resource-intensive tasks. Properly managing your storage settings helps your system stay organized and automatically clear unnecessary files. Go to System and select Storage. Enable Storage Sense, then configure it to clean up files on a weekly basis for consistent performance. Additionally, if you do not actively use Remote Desktop, disable it by navigating to the System menu. Keeping this feature off prevents unnecessary background processes from consuming system resources. Fine-tuning advanced system settings can significantly improve performance by reducing visual effects while maintaining usability. To do this, go to Settings, scroll down to About, and select Advanced System Settings. In the Performance section, click Settings, then choose adjust for best performance to disable all unnecessary visual effects. However, for better usability, re-enable the following options. Enable peak show thumbnails instead of icons. Show window contents while dragging smooth edges of screen fonts. These settings help strike a balance between performance and a visually smooth experience. Then, in the Advanced tab, ensure that programs are prioritized over background services for better application performance. Optimizing your mouse settings can enhance accuracy and control, which is particularly important for gaming. Open Settings, go to Devices, and select Mouse. Click on Additional Mouse Options to open the Classic Control Panel. Under the Pointer Options tab, set the pointer speed to the default 6 out of 11 and uncheck Enhance Pointer Precision. This disables mouse acceleration, a feature that many professional gamers turn off for improved aiming consistency and precision. Once done, apply the changes and click OK. Turning off transparency effects reduces visual processing demands, improving system responsiveness without compromising aesthetics. To do this, go to Settings, Open Personalization, and select Colors. Locate transparency effects and toggle it off. This small but effective change helps reduce GPU workload, ensuring smoother performance, especially when running resource-intensive applications. 
By following these steps, you'll optimize your system's power management, storage handling, and overall performance, leading to a more stable and efficient PC experience. Now guys, adjust your in-game settings to improve your gaming experience. Open your game and go to settings. Start by adjusting the aspect ratio to 16 not to 9, which is the most common for modern monitors and provides a well-balanced gameplay experience. For the resolution, make sure it matches your monitor's native resolution to ensure the game appears crisp and clear without any scaling issues. In the advanced video settings, making small adjustments can significantly improve gameplay clarity and responsiveness. First, enable boost player contrast to enhance enemy visibility by increasing contrast, making it easier to spot opponents in fast-paced situations. Next, disable vertical sync, V-Sync, to eliminate input lag. Turning this off ensures that each frame is processed without delay, which is crucial for precise actions and reactions. Enable NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and set it to plus boost to reduce latency and improve system responsiveness, especially during intense gameplay moments. For multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode, MSAA, enable it if you're playing at a lower resolution to smooth out jagged edges. However, if you're using a higher resolution, you can disable it to preserve performance without a noticeable loss in visual quality. Adjusting shadow and texture settings can significantly impact both performance and visuals. Lowering global shadow quality to low will boost FPS but may make it harder to spot enemies hiding in dark areas. Set dynamic shadows to all to retain full shadow details, which enhances immersion without drastically affecting FPS. For modeling texture details, Set it to high for sharper and more detailed character and object textures, adding realism and depth to the game. Most modern systems can handle this setting without performance issues. Set texture filtering mode to 16x for the clearest textures with minimal FPS loss. Keep shadow detail on high for more realistic shadow rendering that improves visual fidelity without significantly impacting performance. For particle detail, set it to low since effects like smoke and explosions can drain FPS. Reducing this setting improves performance without affecting gameplay. Ambient occlusion should be set to medium to maintain depth and lighting without a major FPS drop. Lastly, turn off high dynamic range, HDR. While it can enhance visuals, it's often unnecessary and can negatively impact performance. So guys, that wraps up today's video. Hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and feel free to ask any questions in the comment box. Peace out.